In the end, when they looked at the change in acetylcholine levels in the anterior cingulate cortex, and in particular, a very specific subregion called P24C that's involved in this kind of response inhibition and complex attention, what they saw was a significant improvement in the folks who had done the brain training exercises, and that improvement was larger than what was seen in the control group. The control group doing these video games, right, they engaged their attention, they engaged their thinking, they engaged their working memory but they didn't see really any changes in the acetylcholine levels in this particular part of cortex at all. Whereas the folks who also, well, challenged their memory and challenged their thinking and challenged their speed, but when they did it in these brain training exercises, which really are adaptive to the individual challenge that a brain needs to drive brain plasticity, and frankly focused very heavily on speed of processing, well, that's what drove the improvements in these acetylcholine levels in the anterior cingulate cortex. So a very strong study 